Have you ever wondered how your browser decides what color to show on top of your website? What if I tell you you can easily customize that to align your Shopify store to your branding guidelines? It might seem like a small detail, but it can add to the flavor of your branding and some of your customers will definitely notice it. The color that is featured there is dictated by a meta tag. Most of the Shopify themes have that set by the default to feature the color of your call to action button. But what if you want that to be a different color from your add to cart button? Or what if your theme doesn't have this option at all? In this video, I'll show you how to add this meta tag and how to add a theme setting to allow you to change the color whenever you want. This option will dictate how some of the elements of the browser will look when the customer lands on your store. The compatibility at the moment is not great, but what I can say is that most of the newer mobile devices are supported. So if most of your customers are coming from mobile, you may want to have this set up. First of all, this is a meta tag that contains the color. You can have a preferred color for dark mode and one for light mode if you want to go the extra mile. To have this set up on your Shopify theme, you will have to go to your online store, click the three dots and edit code. Inside the code editor, you will search for theme.liquid and here you will search for theme minus color. If you find it, that is your tag. If not, you will have to add it yourself. As I saw, many of the themes will feature here the background color of the add to cart button. If you just want to change the color, you can add the color code in there, save and you are done. If you want to go a step further and add a custom option on the theme customizer, you will replace the color underscore button with your custom value, let's say theme underscore color. Now we will have to go and create this new theme underscore color setting. To do that, we will search for settings and click on the schema. Inside here, we will scroll down to the header settings and add a new entry that should look like this. Now, feel free to edit the values, then hit save. Now the theme color should be the default one you set inside the schema. But if you want to, you can go to customize, then settings. And here you will find your newly created color option. And that's it. Let me know if this was helpful. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.